All right, welcome back fourth grade. Um, once again, it is week nine, day two. And um, today we are going to um, start the research part of our project. Of course, this week we are creating a brochure about a birthstone that we have picked. You guys are taking on the job of a geologist, okay? Now, yesterday um, I told you that the example that I I'm working on is researching garnet, which is my birthstone. Um, and so today I'm gonna show you how to complete the research part of that. All right, so let's get started. Make sure you have your packet. All righty. And so here is where we left off yesterday. We um, summarized everything that we already knew about minerals and gems. And also to review, here are the four questions that we came up with to research um, for our birthstone. The first one is, where's the gemstone found, found most commonly? How is the gemstone formed? What are characteristics of this gemstone? And lastly, what are myths about this gemstone? So these four questions can be answered no matter what your birthstone is, okay? So whether you choose garnet like me, or whether you choose a diamond or a pearl or topaz or whatever, um, first on you decide to research, these are the four questions you're going to be answering, all right? So without further ado, let's dive into our text and begin collecting research. All right, so as we annotate the text today, we wanna make sure that we are using our annotation symbols. And so in case you've forgotten, of course, here they are. First, we wanna make sure that we underline major points. We wanna make sure that we circle any keywords or phrases. Maybe put a question mark beside something that you don't understand or that you wanna learn more about. Um, and then, of course, if you have any uh, clarifying statements, something that you might wanna summarize in your own words, you can write that over in the margin, all those margin notes, okay? All right, so with that being said, here we go. Now remember, we are researching garnet, all right? Um, that first question, where um, is the birthstone or the gemstone most commonly found? And so when I look up here in the section about garnet, I notice in the very first sentence, it says, this gem forms in metamorphic rocks and in some igneous formations. So that tells me, that actually answers question number two. How is the gemstone formed? That information answers question number two. I know that it is formed in metamorphic rocks and in some igneous formations. So that answers our second question. So make sure that you go ahead and box that in or you can underline it, whatever you wanna do and then maybe write that question above it so that you know that that is the, the question that it answers, okay? So go ahead and, and whatever your birthstone is, go through and find your birthstone and then box or underline the information that answers um, that question, okay? That's what you guys are going to do. All right, another piece of evidence that I find in this excuse me, in this section about the garnet, um, I see that it tells me a few characteristics about it. Uh, I see that it tells me that it's mostly red, and sometimes it can come in a rainbow of colors. So red is the, the most common color, but as we keep reading, we are going to find out that it can be any of the colors of the rainbow, all right? So go ahead and circle or box it in, whatever you want to do. Um, so this is a characteristic of the gym, right? Now, I also see some very important keywords that I need to circle. I wanna make sure that I use these in my brochure. And that's the words metamorphic and igneous. I'm gonna circle those two words because those are important keywords that I wanna make sure I, I include in my brochure because it, especially since it answers uh, the second question, how is a gemstone formed? Metamorphic and igneous are gonna be very important keywords um, to answer that question. So I wanna make sure that I have those in my information, okay? 
All right, let's move on to the next page. Um, this is where we're going to find out about birthstone myths and different facts about it, okay? Now, I know that one question, <clears throat> excuse me, um, question four, we asked, what are myths about our gemstone? So for garnet, one of the myths says that people once believed that garnets offered protection from poisons, wounds, and even scary dreams. So make sure that whatever birthstone you are researching, make sure you box or underline the information that tells you about certain myths about your gemstone. In the next section, I see evidence that answers my first question. Where is the gemstone most commonly found? Well, it tells me here that you can find garnets in streams where water has worn away rock, exposing the gems. Um, and so this happens before, you know, they're polished, you know, before they are cut and polished and become this beautiful stone. They, um, they're mostly found in, in streams where water has worn away. Um, all right, so that answers our first question. The last information that I can find here um, is more, excuse me, more information about characteristics. It says here that they come in shades of red, black, and green, which is the most rare, sorry, which is the rarest um, type of garnet. And so it also tells me that some garnets are even colorless. Imagine that, okay? So here I have shown you just um, a basic process of how to research your um, information to answer the questions that we came up with, all right? Um, so remember, whatever your birthstone is, you wanna make sure you answer those four questions about your birthstone. You wanna make sure that you're underlining and circling um, all of the important information that, you're, that you are going to use in your brochure, all right? So that is all I have for today. Um, happy researching, guys. I can't wait to see your final projects this week. All right. Bye.